one of the most important things is listening to what's happening between the notes, not actually the notes themselves. Does that make any sense to you? Between the notes? What's between the notes? Yes, but what, ac what is actually between the notes? Nothing, right? There's empty space. But that space is very important. Some people say that silence is more powerful than actual, actually music. It's very, silence is very powerful. This is too short to really call it silence, but it's space, especially here. All these are spaces. And you're not a really aware of the spaces. You're aware of the notes. It's like looking at some kind of an illusion. You can see, you can see it one way and you can see it another way. So I want you to focus more on the spaces. Now the interesting thing is that sometimes most of the time, we as musicians and as pianists are going to know when it's too much. For instance, if you played, it would sound like a mistake, right? But if you played, it would feel too early. So you would be able to tell, all right? You would have no problems, and everybody here would be able to tell. Something went wrong, right? But there's a little bit of leverage, do you know what leverage is? That you have as a performer that you can take a little more time, a little more space, and it changes a lot. So try once again. That's so much better. You just changed a very, very, very tiny thing. Maybe a tenth of a second and it makes a, a world of difference. So that's something that you as a pianist would experiment with. Uh, you need to try different ways. If you put the metronome on, you can't do it because the metronome will always keep you going. And there's not, metronome, I love the metronome. I practice with the metronome a lot. And so do my students. But sometimes we need to turn the metronome off and experiment and see what works because we don't perform with the metronome. Anyway.